This morning, a moment of relief for one person. You all. And heartbreak for several others. The line to see Queen Elizabeth lying in state at Westminster is officially closed. Sky TV captured the moment a woman was told she was the last person in line. The people behind her, devastated. Yeah, absolutely gutted. Hundreds of thousands of people have been determined to see the Queen's coffin, some waiting in line for up to 24 hours. Just like sharing Lots. stories, having laughs and like banter. Good and chat. Yeah, yeah, good chat. chat. Yeah. Jack and Zoe were two strangers before the Queen's passing. After spending time in line, they're watching the Queen's funeral today together. Also waiting to pay his respects was Peter Stratford, who has a unique experience with the Queen. I'm getting upset. <laughs> So special. In 1992, Stratford was one of the firefighters who battled the devastating fire at Windsor Castle. The Queen sent him a thank you letter for helping save the day. She was so lovely. I'm 70 years of age and I've known her all my life. For 70 years, she's been my queen. It's very touching. There were some familiar faces. Soccer star David Beckham waited for more than 13 hours. This day was always going to be difficult and it's difficult for the nation. Volunteers wearing neon green vests were also on hand to greet mourners, the so-called faith team helping people grieve the only monarch they've ever known. We know that uh, the experience of grief is a spiritual experience for people and it, it raises lots of profound questions about the meaning of life and death and so it's important that people have a place to go to to think through those questions. I should mention, too, the reason the streets are empty is not because there are no people <laughs> there. It's because the procession will go by there, so they're blocking all the traffic. And that line was about five miles long at its peak. 24 hours is how long some people waited just to get a few moments and say their goodbyes to the only monarch, the only queen that they've ever known. And just seeing some of these moments, we saw King Charles actually uh, stopping by and surprising people. It's just been such an emotional 10 days, mm -hmm. and today... Uh, will be the culmination of that. And remember that coverage of the Queen's funeral starts right here on ABC at 5.15 a.m. Eastern. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.